you guys, welcome to the video. So, as you probably can tell, I'm somewhere different. So, today I am actually competing in the first CrossFit competition I've done in like a whole year. Actually, the last CrossFit competition I did was this competition a year ago. So, we are doing the Reindeer Games. I am on a team with Mike right over there. Also, my brother who is, as usual, he's a little late. <laughs> so, uh, our team name is Han Trio, same exact team name as last year. I'm excited. We've been training for this. Um, probably not as much as we should have been. So, I asked Jazz and Mike, those are my roommates, like what their goals were for today. And, and then I kind of thought about it for myself. I think my main goal is to be proud of the effort that I put in. So, I want to make sure that in all of these workouts, I put in as much effort as I possibly can. Um, regardless of outcome and that's hard for me to do because obviously everybody wants to do well you want to win and stuff like that I doubt that that's gonna happen but I want to be proud of the the effort that I put in that's really important to me but yeah that's what's going on today I hope you guys enjoy the video look who finally showed up and uh, apparently he brought his own syrup protein waffles come on come on I'm ready <laughs> about 30 minutes since the first well it's, it was actually technically two events that one workout was like two different workouts in one but the first thing I want to say is I'm still focused on effort over outcome so the the effort that we put into that workout I'm very 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 satisfied with we actually did better out there than we did in all the practice runs that we did at the gym so really happy with that and I know I shouldn't get focused on this, but we were able to actually come out third. So overall, after two events, we're sitting in third place right now. And so for me, my overall arching goal that I had, you know, obviously, <laughs> The, the effort that we put in is the main thing that I want to focus on, right? I want to put in and be satisfied with the work that I put in, but obviously it would be really nice to um, end up in the top 10 because if you're in the top 10 at the end of the day, you actually get to do the final workout. So if you're not in the top 10, you don't even get to compete in the final workout. So the, the overall arching goal, you know, as far as, as long as the effort is there is I would love to be able to make it to that final workout. So right now we are sitting in third, so we have a good chance hopefully of doing that. But at the same time, I'm just trying not to focus too much on that because again, it's out of our control. All that I can control and all that we can control is the effort that we put into the workouts. And, uh, but yeah, I'm super stoked tonight. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So John, what What's do you up, think? Man? How you feeling? I'm feeling really good. You know, like not even looking at what we're placing at or anything like that. Like the fact that we've consistently crushed our practice times every single time. I'm feeling really good about it. This next one, 
It's a cake for me, cake for Mike. We just gotta make sure that John Avery carries his weight. <laughs> He's not joking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the uh, the camera died in the middle of that last workout, but it went really well. We beat our practice time by over a minute, so we're still currently sitting in fourth. But again, like I said, it's effort over outcome, so I'm not too worried about it. Like as long as, especially this last workout it actually counts as three. As long as we put in the effort, I'm gonna be happy. So right now I'm I'm feeling really good with where we're at. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. That last workout though was like death. But it's my first intermediate competition, so I feel good. What, where, where are you guys sitting right now? Eight. But don't mm. tell Jazz, she doesn't wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> worried about it but it ended up not going too well me and my brother struggled a little bit on those I get one he wouldn't get it he get one I wouldn't get it yeah but again effort over outcome and we put in the effort so So it is the next day now and I just wanted to take some time to explain everything that happened yesterday because it was definitely a roller coaster. As you guys saw, after the first two workouts, we were sitting in fourth place, so we were obviously super stoked. But most of all, we were really excited about the effort that we were putting into all of the workouts because in both of those workouts, we actually did much better on the competition floor than we did when we were practicing. Now, going into the third workout, which was actually technically three events, so there was technically six events throughout the workouts, but there were only three workouts, right? So the first one was technically two events, the second workout was just one event, and the third workout was actually Actually three events so three different scores we're gonna go into you know depending your place so half of the points that you could get for the day were going to come from this last workout and going into the workout we all knew that this was gonna be the one that we were probably going to struggle on the most and that's exactly what happened we we were just struggling with the knees to elbows it's just a movement that we don't ever do in this gym um, I've actually never I don't think I've ever done them before you know the practices that we were doing before the competition so again it was like something that we kind of expected we hoped that it went a little bit better but it is what it is again like I've said a million times in this video I was focused solely on effort over outcome and we put in the effort I mean we did everything that we possibly could and obviously that just ended us in 14th place so we ended up getting 14th out of I think there was like 28 teams so literally right in the middle um, last year we got 17 so we did a little bit better than last year and obviously we were we were excited you know we were stoked we were really hoping we would be in the top 10 so we could do that last workout but that just wasn't in the cards for us but again I am incredibly proud of the effort that we put out there because the fact that after the first two workouts we were sitting in fourth place I was stoked. I felt like we 100% did everything we could to put ourselves in the best position. And obviously, that just shows that I need to work on toes to bar. I need to work on more gymnastic stuff. That's all stuff that I knew anyway. So again, 
there's no there's no one to blame but myself because that stuff that I've known I, I need to work on and I've just neglected because nobody likes to work on weaknesses um, so it is what it is and then I just wanted to say a huge huge thank you to everybody that came up to me at the event I didn't post that I was going or anything like that so I I had no expectations of meeting anybody but I met tons of people a lot of people actually came up to me and said they've been listening to the podcast which for me is really really cool and it's just yeah it was really cool I was actually competing against some people that that were you know subscribers and, and listeners to the podcast so that was awesome I met someone actually at uh, BJ's after when we went out to eat like so there was it was just a lot of fun being able to meet people and just and I it was it was definitely the most fun event that I've been to that I've competed in. I was just really relaxed. I was able to read in between events, which is definitely not normal for me. Um, and I just was able to enjoy the time more. And that's, I mean, all in all, like that, that's what matters, right? Like the, the time that you spend, the, the, the how good the time was, because nobody cares if you came in first place, really. Like, it just doesn't matter. Uh, and then part of that was actually because I've been reading that book, Extreme Ownership, like between the events. Like in the book, they're just talking about all these crazy Navy SEAL missions they've gone on and all of this crazy stuff, right? And then I'm there like stressing about a CrossFit workout. Like it just, it really doesn't matter when you can get, take a step back and be like, okay, yeah, there's people that are dealing with a lot worse than this. And I'm stressing over some silly, you know, CrossFit workout. So that was kind of my mindset. And I'm honestly really happy with how everything went. It was definitely a roller coaster, but I had a lot of fun and that's all that really matters. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up a fam. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.